We are born of the blood, made men by the blood, undone by the blood. Our eyes are yet to open. And there's the cover of the game. Stinking awesome. Well, cover for the DLC at least. So we are not going to meet Lady Amelia, oh, Lady Maria with this dumb crap on our head. We're gonna go ahead, take that off, go back to impurity. And I am nowhere near leveling up, even with all the blood items that I have. Which is only the two King Cole blood. Mm. Uh, let's see if we can improve anything with the uh, chunks that we got. No, I have seven. I need one. How much is one? in the inside shop. Twenty. Huh. Insight means nothing to me now. I'll just buy it. Now. Blades of Mercy. Or Whirly Gig Saw. Going for the saw. Alrighty. I think that's the best that we're gonna do for right now. On any of that stuff. Unless I can improve my pistol. I mean, pistol is not it's nothing to sneeze at okay yeah bloodstone trunks pfft, yeah not gonna happen all right now it's time for my favorite boss because my favorite bosses are the ones where you fight as equals Okay, let's go. Oh, come on, don't act like this. Inspect corpse. A corpse should be left well alone. Secrets beckon so sweetly. Only an honest death will kill you now. <laughs> From your wild curiosity. Seems the well, same voice actress for the doll. Interestingly enough. But this. Yeah, Torius fight in DS1, 
the best. Yeah. Yeah. I got her in six attempts on my first character. We'll see where I get here. But you can see I have a wall of a boss here, and then I have another boss to beat. So, you know, it's it's going to be a rough session. <laughs> there might be a lot of cuts. And she has the Rakuyo, and it's the coolest thing in the world. I love the Rakuyo. Sorry, hon. But you are fighting me. Phase two. I love this music too. Yeah, there was no way I was getting past that. Ah, oh, she broke her chair. But I got her done halfway the first, uh, the the second try. So that that's good. First real try, honestly. <laughs> Oh, come on. Oh man, I'm just right in her moveset. <laughs> And she's using the old hunter bone. Lady Maria is dead in real life. The, the old hunter bone, it's hers. She was the one who developed the art of quickening. Here it goes. Phase two. Push. Okay. Come on, hon. Yeah. That one's rough, because you gotta do it at the last second, basically. Ooh! I misread that. That move is very important to remember. Remember that she has that big jump move like that. Because we'll see a similar move later. Phase 3. Now she's really crazy. Because it's blood and fire. It's the coolest stuff, man. It is the coolest. Ooh. No, no, no. Aw. 
and see how she even with killing you like that she is she's being delicate she's like i'm doing this for your own good now stop and then she pulls your heart <laughs> you know it's it's so cool she's the coolest though i think i can get her in one more shot which taking it down to four attempts is you know all right Wow, that was really bad. I need to not dodge back. I'm dodging back. I need to dodge to the left or right. And, you know, the right favoring. Or, you know, past her, basically. Rather than away from her, because then I'm she's just dashing up and getting me. Because that's how her moveset goes. Okay. Yeah, I collected my zero. Come on, hon. That's a body explosion, so you gotta stay away, away from her whenever she does that. Oh! I dodged at the wrong time. Oh, man. You gotta stay in on her in this uh, form. This phase is all about staying in on her. Because then she can't do as much damage. If you stay far away, she'll hit you with those long swipes because it's hard to predict. And that's another body explosion, so back up. Phase three. She's the coolest. Dances of blood and fire. Strangely enough, she reminds me of the dancer. You know, from DS3. Or, more accurately, the dancer reminds me of her. Ooh. Cannot get the parry on any of this stuff. There she is. Done. Sorry, honey. Wow, 50,000. That's almost enough for a level. The Celestial Disc. Celestial dial that f uh, that functions with the great astral talk clock in the Grand Cathedral. Okay, let's try this again. A celestial dial that functions with the giant astral clock in the Grand Cathedral. When the dial is held up towards the astral clock, the clock will come to life and reveal a secret to its curious and to its curious interloper. This is the secret that she was protecting.
a muddy, wet little path to the deepest, darkest secret of the healing church. little village near the sea waterlogged the fishing hamlet Let's read that Art of Quickening again. The bone of an old hunter whose name is Lost. It is said that he was an apprentice to Old German and a practitioner of the Art of Quickening, a technique particular to the first hunters. It is most appropriate that hunters, carriers of the torch, who are sustained by the dream, would tease an old art from his remains. Now, remember, this description has a mistranslation in it, which is confusing. It is said that he was an apprentice to Old Garman. Well, it wasn't a he, it was, it was she. She was an apprentice to Old Garman. And then, she died, or left, and... Garman awaits you. At the foot of the great tree. He created something Go on, good hunter. so that she would be by his side forever. Good hunter, your presence somehow soothes. I sense the ancient echoes. They course your veins. Farewell, good hunter. May you find your worth in the waking world. He created a doll of Lady Maria so that she would remain with him always. That's why so much love and care went into it. Because he loved her. And when she left, either him or this mortal coil, he wanted to keep her around. An oddly tender gesture in the blood-soaked world of Bloodborne. Yeah, I don't 
don't think there's anything for me here. Mm. Is there a better blood tint scaling goes up? That's always nice. Physical attack up. Mm. Yeah, there's nothing really. Alright, so that's where we're going to stop for now, but I will see you guys soon.